Okay, and uh, hello and welcome to this session on using the uh, Kafka Lookup in Droid. So I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, set up the Kafka Lookup and then talk about what it means to use it and what are the use cases where it's very useful. Now to set up the Kafka Lookup, you first need to add your um, the two extensions in your uh, extension load list in the common runtime properties. One is the Druid Kafka Extraction namespace and the other is the Druid Lookup Cache Global. Be aware that this order of where how the extensions are listed here is important. You need to have an extraction namespace lookup uh, the extension first and then the Lookup Cache Global extension second uh, because there is a bug where if you invert that order then you get a guys uh, exception and the uh, services won't start. So make sure you have it in this order. Once you have put in the extensions and restarted your cluster, then you can actually go ahead and create the lookup. Uh, so I'm going to show you here. So if you go add lookup, you will see a uh, Kafka lookup out here. Okay, so you'll see this here. And then um, you can also go ahead and uh, um, look at what I've done here. The only thing required to set up the Kafka lookup is your bootstrap server and of course the Kafka topic on which the lookup data is being populated and the lookup data needs to be populated in a very specific way unlike traditionally when you uh, populate a kafka topic you don't actually populate the message key uh, but because this is a lookup and hence it's a key value uh, pair you need to populate the message key which also becomes the lookup key right? that's a key thing to be kept in mind here the topic needs to be populated in that specific way as indicated in this documentation where you can see that um, setting a uh, key parse key to true and then a separator for the key and of course the everything else uh, including the broker list and the topic of the usual uh, configurations once <coughs> the topic has been populated in that way what you will see is uh, in this particular scenario uh, I have order IDs and the time at which that order update happened or the order creation happened the time at which the order entered the system right so this is what um, uh, i have now if i look at the uh, the data here uh, let's take a quick look here i want to run this select star from order you can see there's a typical uh, order type situation where you have order id or other things like customer id customer name category uh, time uh, some kind of quantity um, you know region and so on so typical uh, order uh, entry uh, type of uh, scenario this is order data the question is um, what what happens if I update an order there are a couple of ways of handling uh, that sort of thing in uh, Druid one is using your um, latest uh, SQL command but this using Kafka lookup is another way of handling uh, that kind of uh, data so if we look at this particular order MX 2012 uh, 15911 I see that it has got three records high medium medium now I'm going to go ahead and publish uh, one more uh, record now what you can see is that I've got this as low this is my um, <coughs> order uh, priority this is a very normal uh, business requirement where the order priority gets gets you know updated after the orders enter the system this is a pretty uh, normal requirement we see for many customers using to it now I'm going to make a change in the date here because this obviously it doesn't happen normally on the same day on which uh, or same time on which the uh, order is created. Uh, so I'm going to change the uh, time here. Go ahead and uh, copy this uh, record. Now I'm going to take it to my Kafka console producer. So how did I create this uh, console producer? Let's just take a look at this. Um, so this is my topic. I'm creating a console producer. Uh, for the purpose of this demo in the usual course of things I would have um, allowed this to come in through the streaming pipeline but I'm just creating a console producer for the purpose of this demo so I'm going to go ahead and uh, populate this uh, uh, <coughs> the change and then I'm going to go check this in fact it has come through yes you can see now this uh, order which I wanted uh, which is convert changing that order ID to low priority is coming now how do I use the Kafka lookup to pick up only that latest order now the way to do that is uh, in a real uh, scenario what we do is we populate the same um, when the order is populated in the uh, stream which is feeding the data source you also populate another stream which is the lookup stream in that lookup stream we're going to populate only the order ID and the uh, time 
right, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and uh, create a uh, Kafka console producer for the uh, lookup itself, right? So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Let me go. So you can see what I'm doing here. This is console producer. The topic is order update. Uh, it can, it is a lookup topic. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So this is the I uh, but I edit this. You can see this is the uh, lookup topic. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a console producer for that. Also, I am asking it to parse the key that is coming in from um, the message, and the key separator is a comma. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the uh, console uh, producer is getting created. Uh, producer is created. Now I'm going to, uh, in a real scenario, when I've made this update for the same timestamp out here, I'm just sending in the order ID. Let's go ahead and do that. Put it up in the um, console producer. What you note here is that I have a comma after the order ID. So uh, this specification of uh, the key separator being a comma will make sure that the order ID becomes the message key and hence the lookup key. That's what uh, this allows us to do. Once I have done that, I can go uh, run a query and in this query, uh, you know, just take a look at this query. What I'm saying is that um, the uh, filter for the order ID, that makes sense. But also I'm using the order ID and picking up the time that is coming from the lookup and matching it with the time in my uh, transaction table. If I run this query, you'll see that it picked up only one of those records and which is the latest record with uh, order priority being low. Right, so what I've achieved is that uh, instead of looking at these four records, I was able to use the lookup to pick up the last, the latest updated record. So this is a very cool way of uh, handling uh, row level updates in Joy. Uh, for uh, many reasons, um, you, know, you can use the latest and earliest uh, SQL commands, but often um, those uh, require you to use uh, subqueries. For example, if you want to count all the uh, orders which have uh, priority as low um, you'll have to say latest priority equal to low and then put a count on top of that uh, because latest is already an aggregator but with lookup you can just do a filter because the lookup acts as a filter here picks up only the latest and you don't need a subquery so a uh, really very useful capability uh, if you are uh, using uh, uh, looking for some way of handling row level updates in druid also, if you're trying to use uh, this in Pivot, uh, Pivot obviously supports lookup very easily and it becomes extremely powerful to use it in Pivot. So I hope uh, that kind of uh, gave you uh, 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 an outline of how lookups can be set up and why to use uh, lookups. Uh, I'll probably have some additional uh, recordings on how to use the latest and earliest for updates. Uh, but uh, uh, thanks for your uh, patience in listening to this. Bye. Okay, um, if you are, uh, um, um, yeah, please uh, log into learn.imply.io uh, to do some uh, really cool uh, Druid courses that are pretty much free. You can also sign up uh, to the community uh, uh, newsletter uh, at the imply.io newsletter sign up. And also, uh, give a big thank you to the um, Druid dev team by uh, going on GitHub and starring the apache druid uh, repository and uh, again uh, thanks for uh, uh, your time and listening to this i uh, hope uh, you will uh, listen to uh, future recordings thank you bye